we are going to look at the different resources of energy that are available to us and we're going to categorize them into two different types and then we'll have a little chat about the benefits um, of them and the disadvantages so there you've got seven different images of different energy resources have a think about whether you can name all of those do you know what each one represents? Which energy resource it's there to show? And do you know, can you think about what the two categories are we're talking about? So the green plant there is uh, representing biomass. The turbine is representing wind. We've got a lump of coal. We've got some water in the form of a waves, which we met waves. We've also got uh, as part of a, a hob, so it's showing natural gas. We've got the sun and a panel, that's solar. And we've also got some oil there to show crude oil. Okay. They are the different energy resources we need to know about. And what you also need to know is what is a renewable energy resource. So very simply, a renewable energy resource is... Um, one which will not run out. It can be renewed. And into this category falls the wind, waves, biomass and solar. They're the four that you need to know. And we're using the same images so that we make it nice and easy for you. That's renewable. It will not run out. A non-renewable energy resource, very simply, is one that will run out. And when we talk about this, we should also be using the term fossil fuels. These fossil fuels have been formed over millions of years. Um, however, we can burn them in minutes. So there is absolutely no way that we can replace them at the rate we use them, which is why they are classed as non-renewable. And also why there's an awful lot of um, information and talk about uh, climate change and about why we should not be using these and what we should be doing to uh, prevent the damage to the environment by the use of these. So we're going to look at each energy resource in turn. So first off, this is coal. Um, you need to be able to recognise and name whether it's renewable or non-renewable. Um, and how we how do we use it to generate electricity? That's what you also need to know. So coal is a fossil fuel. When you're using that word with any of the three fossil fuels, it shows a good understanding. Um, it's a non-renewable resource and it takes millions of years to form. Fossil fuels are traditionally burned in power stations to generate electricity. And that's a bit that you need to remember. Then, next one, we've got waves. So they are a renewable energy resource and they are also used to generate electricity. These waves um, are used and harnessed to turn turbines. The turbines are then able to drive a generator and that will then generate electricity in a power, hydroelectric power station. Next one is natural gas. We should be noting and highlighting that it is a fossil fuel, so it is also a non-renewable energy resource. As it's a fossil fuel, it's another one that can be burnt in a power station to generate electricity. Now, remember, you won't be asked about all of them, which is why it's very important you're clear on what each one does and how it generates electricity. So they could ask you on any of them in any test you have. The next one is a wind turbine. So this one's a renewable energy resource and can be used again to generate electricity. The wind turns the turbine that you see there, which then drives a generator. Now, you tend to have wind farms more commonly because the more wind turbines you have, the more electricity you can generate. Um, some just have one big wind turbine um, or you might see some just offshore in a small wind farm. Um, it varies depending on where you are, but obviously the more you have, the more electricity you can generate. Crude oil, this was a fossil fuel and it's a non-renewable energy resource. Again, it takes millions of years to form. 
and they burnt at power stations, so the crude oil's burnt at power station to generate electricity. Okay, this one is solar panels, so it's solar power. It's a renewable energy resource, and these work by using energy from the sun, um, and some of them will use the energy from the sun to either heat water or um, will use it in mirrored cells to generate electricity, okay? They, the solar, you can have two different types of solar panels, so they work in different ways, but they can generate electricity. Some solar panels are used just to heat water within a house as well. But remember, they are a renewable energy resource. And then the last one is biomass. This is a renewable energy resource. And what happens here is we have uh, decay, decaying plant material or animal matter, um, that's then burnt to generate electricity. Um, quite often, the material that is being burnt has been grown to be burnt, okay, because it could take a bit longer to collect it all together. So quite often it's grown to be used um, as biomass for fuel. 